So, Skull and Bones released a mid-season video yesterday. Some of you have probably seen it and some of you probably haven't seen it. Now, I went and put a comment on there as well to try and get them themselves to put my emblem, my logo in the game. So, Ubisoft, if you watch this, come on now. We've got the red and black cosmetics for the ship. All we need is a beautiful Deathwish emblem to go on them sails. But regardless... What I was doing in this video and what the reason for this video is, is in that trailer yesterday, one thing was spotted out by one loyal viewer of the Discord channel named Long Live Tim. Thank you, Tim, for spotting this out. But also, I wanted to show you the trailer so you guys can actually have a look at it and go over it yourself, just in case you haven't seen it. Um, it's on the official Ubisoft. So if you want to go and support that comment to try and get my emblem in the game, then obviously go over there. Hit like on the comment that I've got on there. Put a comment in there if you can as well. Everything obviously helps to try and get that over to the game. Um, so I think without further ado, let's go over to the video. And while the video is playing, I will then talk to you at what was seen by Tim himself. And if you can pick anything out of this video, let us know in the comments down below. So let's go over to it. Firstly, guys, I want to give a massive shout out to all of you as well. And the reason I'm doing this little clip here, um, this is future Death Wish. I just want to say thank you for everyone who has joined the Discord. The link is in the description down below. We're at 2,400 members. It is absurd. And also, our twitch.tv forward slash idefwishide is a free. You guys are going insane. We stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Come over, join in all the fun, the Discord, the Twitch. All the links are in the description. And I'll carry on with the video now. So here's the mid-season trailer. But I'm going to have to pause it around here because of this is where it was seen. It was seen by Tim and it was on the ship right now. If you look at the screen, them cannons, I mean, correct us if we're wrong, but them cannons that you see on the screen are definitely not in the game. Now, in this video, it does say there's some color burn freeze coming to the game and it's got green text. Does that mean that we're going to get a new upgraded version of the color burns now we do see as well obviously they've got the fire torch and stuff like that now i don't think that's anything but these cannons are definitely not the carronades because the carronades don't look nothing like that all they've got is a golden ring going out around them it does not look like the um long gun fire maybe it is obviously just confirm but does this mean this season this mid-season we're going to be getting a new type of cannons let's carry on playing the trailer and let's see if we can spot anything else so if you haven't got that set, the Anguish from Abyss set, you need to be killing Rod Rodeman Gordon as soon as possible because this set is flipping incredible that you get. Obviously, you get the Blue Spectre reward. You could get that before, um, but it's really great. And you can even see you get the Black Hole. So if you want that real big fire, um, sorry, that, that pirate realistic looking ship, then go ahead and do it. I think it's flipping amazing. Now, we've got the Miserger coming out on 2nd of April until the 9th of April, and then from the 16th to the 23rd and the 14th to the 28th. Now, it does say here we can see that we're going to get weapon rewards. We're going to get the Great Spring Old 1 and 2. If I actually go back, I believe is where it said you're going to get the Color Burn Freeze as well, because um, we don't want to miss out on that. Um, and that might be... There we go. We see the Color Burn Freeze, but it's obviously shown in green text. That might not mean anything. That might mean... It's just what you're going to get. But from the 2nd to the 9th, the 16th to the 23rd, and the 14th to the 28th, obviously April and May, maybe we're going to get some new types of color burns. I'm not too sure. It'd be interesting, um, and I'm, I'm curious to take out these. Now, cosmetic rewards from the Farah ship. We've already got these cosmetics. Maybe they weren't meant to be in the game yet, or maybe they were, but we have already got these. From the 26th of March until the 23rd of April, we've got exotic shipment as well. So this is already well underway. So if you haven't done this, then go and do it to get yourself the Royal Custodian. Talking about the Royal Custodian, this is probably the easiest and the best first armor you can get when you get to endgame. So if you're watching this, you're not even at endgame yet. As soon as you get to endgame, get the Royal Custodian armor as quick as possible because it will make you go from zero to hero with one simple customization. Now it's got introducing new cosmetics. A lot of people have already seen that. We can see here we've got the Spring Blossom cosmetic, which looks really cool. I'll probably only use the belt from this. Um, but for those of you who are looking for this Asian type cosmetic, I think that's a really cool addition to the game that's going to be coming. Now, I know this is going to make a lot of people upset. We can see here on the screen the Caliban set, which a lot of people, myself included, bought this for sovereigns. 
and apparently it's going to be free. So we've just missed out on a load of sovereigns, but who cares? At the end of the day, at least everyone will be able to get it. Quality of life features have also come, uh, and then opt into PvP. I haven't seen anything else on this trailer that looks new. Um, everything looks good. So here you go. You can see these cannons right now. You can't really see them, but you, well, you can. If you look at the far, far left of the screen, these are the carronades. So the carronades have got the golden elements to it, but it hasn't got the, the gold going all over it. So what is it that we have seen? And these rockets, are they the termites free? I'm not too sure. Them rockets look a little bit different. Um, I haven't seen that color that was on the sale before either, but I can't see them cannons anywhere. What I'll do is straight after I finish talking, I'm going to play the full trailer now for you guys with full audio. So have a little look, stop, stop pause. If you pick anything out, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, so with that, I'm going to sign off and I'm going to say like, follow, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Here we go. Congratulations, Captain. You've made it this far. But only the most fearsome kingpins will prevail against the new terrors that await you on these treacherous seas. Challenge the spectral dread road Mangodin as it returns with a vengeance stronger than before, seeking revenge against you, pirate scum. Send it back to its watery grave once and for all to claim the blue spectre seafire and obtain exclusive cosmetic rewards fit for a kingpin. Face off against the ruthless Mizurja elite warship from the vicious clan of Farah as they push back against the pest's growing presence. Defeat the Mizurja and stand a chance to obtain new weapons and don their ferocious cosmetics as a warning to other pirates on the high seas. Plunder the opulent treasures of an exotic shipment as the DMC scramble to protect their riches amidst the rising conflict. Destroy their forces for a chance to acquire the Royal Custodian armor and copious amounts of loot from their wreckages. Collect brand new premium and free cosmetics available for a limited time before our vendors head off for new horizons. Thanks to your feedback, we've also added some quality of life features. From the ability to opt into PvP outside of takeover opportunities, to improve rocket aiming and others listed in our mid-season patch notes. Your crew awaits your command, Captain. Will you sink or will you emerge victorious in the impending showdown against the Plague King? Remember, if you want to help get the emblem of the death squad the death wish emblem in the game then go over to the video you can see it here it's on ubisoft and it's the skull and bones mid season one trailer if you go into the comments you will see there's a death wish comment here with 29 likes 12 comments try and jump in on there try and get a like and try and add a comment to try help our chances of getting this thank you to everyone who has commented so far and uh like follow comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace